when we are asked to find the value of just a plus b without any exponent this is how you solve it right so let's solve for a b and we do that by squaring this now first of all we say let a plus b equal to what what should we call it let's say let a plus b equal to x all right all right now let's square this let's square this so a plus b squared remember why we are doing that we need a b right is equal to what a squared this is an identity plus b squared plus 2 a b okay now we from here we know that we assigned a plus b to x right so we say x squared is equal to a squared plus b squared is given already as 7 so we write 7 plus 2 a b now recall that our intention is to get a b don't worry you see why we need to get a b so to get to make a b the subject of the formula let's remove this 7 by subtracting it from both sides of the equation or this is plus 7 if it crosses to this side it becomes minus 7 so we have x squared minus 7 is equal to 2 a b now to get a b we divide both sides of the equation by 2 right so we have divided by 2 divided by 2 so that means that this we divide this we have that our a b is equal to x squared minus 7 over 2 now let's call this equation 3 equation 3 all right we need to cube this you will also see why so once we cube it we need to get another a b from here and we also know that we have a value for our a cube and b cube all right so a plus b cubed is also an identity is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 a b bracket a plus b yes it is an identity all right so a plus b recall our a plus b is x so we are going to call this what x to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b to the power a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is 10 so we are going to replace this two with 10 plus 3 a b and a plus b is what x replace this with x now we need to transfer this plus 10 to the other side remember our intention is to get a b okay so let's transfer this to the other side so we have x to the power of 3 minus 10 is equal to 3 a b x so to get a b here we need to divide both sides by 3 x right so divided by 3 x divided by 3 x this we divide this this we divide this so we have that a b a b is equal to what x to the power of 3 minus 10 divided by 3 x now let's call this equation 4 okay now since a b is equal to this and a b is equal to this also in equation 3 and 4 that means we can say that this is equal to this okay so let's equate this to this so let's equate equation 3 to equation 4 and we are going to have that x squared minus 7 over 2 is equal to x to the power of 3 minus 10 over 3x. Now let's cross multiply. Okay. If we do that, we have 2 times this, right? 2 brackets x to the power of 3 minus 10. All right. Is equal to 3x brackets x to the power of 2 minus 7 okay now let's solve so we have 2x cubed all right minus 20 is equal to so 3x times x squared is 3x cubed minus 3x times 7 is 21x okay now let's um transfer everything to the right hand side and equate this side to be zero so if we do that, we have 3x cubed minus 21x. Now this plus 2x cubed crossed over to become minus 2x cubed. 
And this minus 20 will cross over to become plus 20 is equal to 0. All right. Now, 3x cubed minus 2x cubed will give us x cubed. Then we have minus 21x plus 20 is equal to what? 0. So we have a cubic polynomial here. We have a cubic polynomial. So we need to factorize this and bring out a linear um, equation and what? A quadratic equation. Now, in this case, the easiest way to go about it is by trial and error, to get the linear equation, we need the trial and error. Don't worry, it's actually a very simple thing. But before that, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on the uh, to click on the follow button, okay? Please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell. Yes, yeah, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, what do we do? Like I said, we need a linear equation and a quadratic equation that when you multiply both of them, you get what? This polynomial. Now, to get the linear equation, you use your trial and error method. And if you actually want to know how to solve polynomials, no matter the type, I have a video on that in this channel. Just check on it and watch it for detailed tutorial, okay? So, we are going to guess that our x is equal to 1. Now, let's see if that is true. If x is equal to 1, 1 to the power of 3 is still 1. Okay, so we have 1 to the power of 3 minus 21 times 1 plus 20. Let's see if it's going to give us what? 0, okay? So, let's see if it will give us 0. Now, 1 to the power of 3 is still 1. 21 times 1 is still 21. Plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, yeah, 1 minus 21 will give us minus 20, minus 20, and minus 20 plus 20 is actually 0. So that means that 1 is a root, okay? And if 1 is a root, that means our x is equal to 1. Now, we have found the first factor, all right? The first root. Now, we are going to use synthetic division to find the other root. There is also a long division. But let's use synthetic division because it is shorter here, okay? Like I said, if you want detailed tutorial, there is a video on this particular polynomial in this channel. Just go and watch it. Now, let's use synthetic words. Synthetic. Now, we have one here. And we are going to write out the coefficients. The coefficients of these uh, values we have here. Now, for our x cubed, the coefficient is just one, okay? So, we write one. There is supposed to be x squared, but x squared is not here. That means the coefficient is 0, right? So we have 0 as well. Now, the coefficient of x is minus 21. You write minus 21. And the remaining one is plus 20. Plus 20. Now, let's solve. Okay? We are going to bring down this one. We are going to bring down this one. Now, 1 times 1 will give us what? 1. We write it here and we add. 0 plus 1 is what? 1. All right, we multiply again. 1 times 1 will give us what? 1. We write it here and we add. Minus 21 plus 1 will give us minus 20. All right. Now, 1 times minus 20 will still give us minus 20. So, we write it here. Then we add. Plus 20 minus 20 will give us 0. Now, these particular values we have here are the coefficients of the quadratic equation that we are looking for. So that means we have, permit me to wipe this side of the board. That means we have, these are the coefficients we have. We have 1, 1, minus 20, and 0. Okay, 1, 1 minus 20 and 0. That means the, uh, the quadratic equation is 1x squared, which is also x squared, plus what? Plus 1x, which is also x, then minus 20 is equal to 0. That is it. Okay, having explained that, I'll clean this now and then write it well. So we have x squared plus x minus 20 is equal to 0. All right. So the first thing we got is that x is equal to 1. Now, if x is equal to 1, this implies that x, this plus 1 crosses equation becomes minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is a factor 
and the quadratic equation we got is its second factor. So we are going to write x minus 1 is equal to 0. That is what we write now. That x minus 1, okay, bracket. Now the second equation that we got, which is a quadratic equation, which is what? x squared plus x minus 20, all right? Two of them are equal to 0. If you multiply this, you are going to get this polynomial back. You will get this back. All right, enough of the explanation. Let's continue. So we have we have two values of x here. Or let's say three. Yes. Now the first one is that x. That x what? <laughs> Let me leave here because we are going to solve this quadratic equation. This is that x minus one is equal to zero. That means that x is equal to one. So this is the first value of our x, all right? All right. Now, for the second value, we have x squared plus, we need two values of, we are now solving quadratic equation. We need two values of minus, two factors, sorry, of minus 20 that when you add them, you get plus one because the coefficient of x here is plus one. And those values are 5x and 4x, all right? 5x and minus 4x, sorry. So we have plus 5x minus 4x, all right? 5x minus 4x will still give you x. Now minus what? 20 is equal to 0. Now let's factorize by grouping. To do that, we have x here, all right? x squared divided by x will give you x. Plus 5x divided by x will give you 5. Now here we have minus what? Minus 4. Now, minus 4x divided by minus 4, you have x. Minus 20 divided by minus 4, you have plus 5, is equal to 0. So, we now have x plus 5, x plus 5 in the bracket. We are going to do what? Pick 1. So, we are going to write that x plus 5, x plus 5, multiplied by x minus 4, x minus 4, is equal to zero okay so that means that x plus five x plus five is equal to zero and x minus four is also equal to zero now if we say that x plus five is equal to zero and x minus four is equal to zero that means that our x is equal to minus five here right x is equal to minus five and our x is equal to four x is equal to 4. Okay, now we have what? Three values for our x. x is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 5, and x is equal to what? 4. Now recall that our a plus b is equal to x. Therefore, these are the three values of our a plus b according to the equation. You have your 1, you have your minus 5, and you have 4. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.